The new Raspberry Pi 4 is here, and here at Yodek, we are all very excited. In fact, we just got it in the mail. Our first impressions? The new Raspberry Pi is more powerful than ever. All the upgrades make the new Pi a decent SBC price at a reasonable price. We also found out there are a few tweaks we didn't expect, and I'm sure nobody did. You can also find a link to the full review at the description below, which we will be updating in the next days. So let's get to it. We're going to open a boxed one. What's new about the Raspberry Pi 4? Our favorite dual HDMI ports. The Raspberry Pi 4 has support, at least the hardware does, for driving two screens at the same time through HDMI. These can be used either in a mirror configuration or in an extended desktop type of screen setup. The two display ports are actually micro HDMI, which means that you need a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter or cable. It also has 4K resolution and 4K video decoding. The Raspberry Pi 4 can decode up to 4K video at 60 FPS, encoded in H.265. H.264 decoding is only supported for up to 1080p at 60 FPS. Both codecs are supported out of the box, so no extra licenses are required. And it has more memory. The Raspberry Pi provides three options for the total amount of memory soldered on the board, and they priced accordingly. The one gigabyte version comes at a price of 35 US dollars. The two gigabyte version costs 45 US dollars, and the four gigabyte version costs 55 US dollars. Also, memory is now LPDDR4 and has triple the bandwidth to the CPU compared to Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, which will make things even faster. And of course, it has a faster CPU. Broadcom CPU codenamed BCM2711, based on 28 nanometer silicon. It's still passively cooled and without a heatsink required, although most will use one for high load applications. It includes four Cortex A72 cores clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, which should provide a big speed bump from the previous Raspberry Pi. The older one used in the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus had four Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. So with a new Pi, you should be getting a theoretical performance gain of about 2.25 times. The official announcement mentions a two time to four time speed bump, which sounds cool. The new board includes two USB 3.0 ports, the ones with the blue plastic, along with two USB 2.0 ones with the black plastic. Gigabit Ethernet is now fully supported. Bluetooth 5.0 is also supported, so longer range and less power used. It also has an improved GPU, and it uses a USB-C power connector, which you plug in right here. You will need to get a new case for the new Pi, as you can see, as the connectors now have a different layout, and the old case won't fit anymore. As we mentioned earlier, the price tag begins at $35, same as the older version, which we consider fair. Make sure you click on the full review at the description below to get more details, updates, and information on the Raspberry Pi 4 software.